Today I'm going to show you how to reset your Toshiba back to the original factory settings. Most of these computers have a DVD which you pop in and restore. But you might find that yours doesn't have this option. So what do you do? On this particular model, I found that if you hold down zero and push the power button, it'll load up into the recovery console. And this will let you format it back to its original factory settings. So let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so you'll need to go ahead and uh, press down the zero key. You're gonna press it down and hold it as you turn it on and continue holding it. So let's go ahead and push and we'll power it on. Okay, I'm still holding the button. And look at that, we're going into the re Windows recovery mode. You can release the button now. Now from here, it's just simply reinstalling Windows. This actually saves a lot of time because you won't have to mess around with keeping DVDs and all that mess. Alright, so let's see what this says here. Windows are warning. When the recovery is executed, all data will be deleted and rewritten. If you're restoring it from a backup, you make sure to backup all important data and configure Windows the way you want it to re restore it. Please connect the AC adapter. Alright, well, we do have the AC adapter connected. So, let's go ahead and uh, get yes to this. Hard to see here. Alright, now we're ready to go. On this option, we have recovery, recovery of factory default so that software. This will this will restore sort of the way it came. Or you can erase the hard disk completely. This will delete all the data and partitions from the hard drive. I wouldn't recommend this option because well your Windows is on Partition, so we want to keep that. So let's go ahead and select the option one. Okay. Now we can recover to the out of the box state. And that's going to put it right back to the way it came from the factory. Or we have recover without changing the hard drive partitions. Or we can recover to a custom size partition. So we wanted to go back to the default settings, so we're going to check box one. Okay, we'll go ahead and go to the next. Alright, start the recovery of factory default software. All partitions will be deleted and you will lose all your data on the hard drive. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah, yes I am, so please select next. Alright, now this is going to go through, pull up all the partition information. And partition information, I mean, it's just, it's like uh, dividing your pie up into separate pieces. Your main pie will have all your window, your files and your documents, while the other partition will have your backup information. And on this particular laptop, there is third partition, which I believe is used for Windows. This will take a few minutes, so you might as well make a pot of coffee or get something to eat. Okay, so it has gone through the partition and is copying files now. So we're going to wait for it to go. This has to do its recovery. And let's see, it, the elapsed time has been about 12 seconds. Usually it does show a remaining time but for some reason it's not. I'd say it's going to take it about an hour. Alright, now it's got the uh, remaining time showing, but that's obviously wrong. One second. Alright, so we're going to let this go ahead and go through. 
Okay, so that stage is finished, and now it is creating a CRC file. That's basically an index of all your files. It's just going to basically go through and uh, make sure everything is where it's at, and make sure all the security checks are in place. Okay, so this stage is about finished up here. Alright, it is all done. Recovery is complete, so let's go ahead and hit finish. Okay, so the recovery is finished. We're going to go ahead and hit finish on it. And it should restart the computer. Alright, so now Windows is loading its files. Okay, did it partition, it reset the master boot record, and it's restarting again. It's updating the registry settings. Starting the services and setting them up. It's installing the devices and it's going to continue after it restarts the computer. Okay, now it's starting up and preparing your computer for the first use. And there we go. Okay, so now we have the preparation tool. This is going to go ahead and configure the system and install any custom software that comes with this Toshiba. Now it is doing the drivers for the display. As you can see, it has about 57 different drivers to install, so this too will take a little bit of time. Alright, so it has installed the display driver. Now it has to reboot a few times here. It's going to finish updating all the driver profiles. That's completely normal. And again, it shows that it's preparing your computer for the first use. Now you might notice that the screen is a lot bigger. Oh, there it goes again. But it has uh, updated the display driver to the actual AMD driver so you'll be able to take advantage of all your 3D effects. You'll find that a lot of the things this installs you don't need. The Norton Internet Security is absolutely garbage. I'm going to remove that as soon as it gets done. It'd be nice if they gave you an option to choose what you could put on there. But they don't so you just have to do it manually. Okay, so it just went through and installed those updates, and now it is rating the system performance. Okay, so it's went and it did all of its updates. Now we are on the screen here where we have to uh, choose the region and the keyboard setup. So we'll go next. And we have to give it a username. Alright, so let's call this, uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to call it default and call it laptop A. Go next. Now, for security reasons, I cannot tell you the password. And then we have to uh, accept the end user agreement. And we want it to do all important updates. We'll use recommended settings. Eastern time. That's all correct. Next. And the wireless network. I'm going to let it connect to mine here. 
and it's a home network. So go ahead and configure it so we can get on the internet. Okay, it's finalizing the settings. Just take it a few more moments here.